Hi everybody, this is Connie. Do I look like Little Orphan Annie? <laughs> I got a perm last night and a color. Um, I don't like it. So, yet. Of course, you know, if any of you have ever gotten a perm, you know that it is tight at first. I This is a body perm. And next time she says we're even going to go a little looser, which is what I want. I just want loose curls. I do not want tight grandma curls, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And it is, um, she had it over my ears, of course. I put it behind my ears because I just like it better that way. Um, this is how she had it, and I don't like it that way. Tell me the truth. Which way do you prefer, this way or this way. Um, I kind of like it behind my ears, but you tell me what, what you think. You know, I am the most indecisive person you have ever met. I went in yesterday, she says, what do you want? I said, I don't know. <laughs> I, I let her go with the haircut, which she only trimmed it. She rounded the fronts. Um, it was more of a boxy. She rounded that. And she just really trimmed it as all. Um, she colored it. She put, she colored my, my ends, my gray, with a permanent. And this other is a semi-permanent. And it is called, it's something like a brunette violet or something. That um, she said will go so much better with my cool um, skin tone. So... Well, see, I really like the color. I think it's very pretty. Um, I think it's flattering, actually. So, anyway, what I my first video of the day, I'm going to do several, so you're going to see me in the same clothes, same makeup. Um, I'm going to do this every time, every weekend. I'm going to tell you what I'm wearing. Just do a little short video, kind of a chatty video, tell you what I'm wearing, tell you what to expect for the day, and stuff like that. I am in the habit now of um, doing, <clears throat> excuse me, very much, um, doing videos every other day. I'm going to try, I'm trying to get my subscriber, you know, get my, get myself out there a little bit um, more than I had been. I've got um, four videos to do today. I've also got uh, videos up through the middle of the week. This is this is Saturday. I have got videos uh, pre-recorded up until like the middle of this coming week, and then these videos will be up. And I've got so far four. I've got three or four more coming. I came into it just a little bit of money, so I went. I did a bunch of retail therapy. I have been. Uh, not feeling very good about myself for the last couple of months. I still don't. Um, so I went and spent some money. I also got a new phone. It's it's on its way. I will show you when it gets here. I cannot wait. Uh, I am just drippy today. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, here we go. The first thing I did was, <clears throat> excuse me. As soon as I get on this damn camera, I'm either blowing my nose or sniffling or uh, clearing my throat or something. I don't know. Um, I'm using the Magic Lumi uh, Light Infusing Primer by L'Oreal. That's what I used. I did forget to put on my um, eye primer, but I did put some of this on my whole face. So, Okay, that was the first thing I used. Then the thing that I think is making my eyes water is I've got this Mirabella um, foundation and I've had it for years. I've had this, I bet you, for seven, eight years. And I'm wondering if that is what's making me water up. Um, it is in the color 2A, 2N. And it's like for a fair, it's a pretty fair shade. See, and it looks like I've got so much left. I've used a lot of it, but it's in a really cream, a really like frosty bottle. So, I mean, I've used, and it came in with a pump. 
but I bought this years ago and it's where I got my hair done yesterday that I bought it from <clears throat> so I know it's at least seven or eight years old so I'm wondering um, should I throw it away let me know you know because uh, I actually I kind of think I look a little bit cakey today uh, I don't think this is a really natural looking foundation anymore so I'm thinking that it's probably past its prime so anyway, you know, I don't know about this kind of stuff. So, you know, I'm I'm relatively pretty new with with make you know a lot of makeup. I I mean I did blush before, I did lipstick, and I did you know just regular eyeshadow, I, mascara. <coughs> That's about it. Excuse me. Okay, so going on, I used my um, Age Rewind uh, eraser for dark circles. Uh, you know, I don't think any concealer really works for me. I, I need some, uh, suggestions for getting rid of, or for covering up these, see these circles here? And then I've got a lot of wrinkles right here that I really would like to cover up, um, because it, that's usually where I put my highlighter. I put my highlighter down just a touch today, but it really seems to emphasize these wrinkles, and nothing helps that I have tried. So anyway, let's go on. I use today for the first time, it's the BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Gel in uh, Brunette. And even though it looks pretty good, it I had to work a little bit harder with this one. First of all, I think um, the spoolie is a little bit too long. I think the spoolie could be shorter. It's a little bit harder to work with. You know, nobody's got this thick of brows, you know. Um, I just, and it's, the color doesn't hold to these as well as my, my Ulta and what's my other one? <coughs> my Ulta and my NYX. It doesn't hold as well. Even though it looks fine, I think it looks just fine. It I had to work a little bit harder with this one. Okay, the next thing I used was eye makeup. Whoops! And I used my Tartlet palette. I used this all over. Used this as my highlight. Used this on my eyelid in this um, as a transition color, this really dark one, right here. And then I went in and, because I like the way it looks, I went in and did that, um, it's the Au Naturel, that gold, just a, a little bit in the center of my lid. Okay, so then for mascara, I used Grandissimo Lashes by Milani and I really like this but the the spoolie is huge which I actually like the big spoolies so it's huge okay then I went with um, a physician's formula sexy booster ooh la la sexy eyes in black for my eyeliner it's just a crayon type <clears throat> and I did the crayon Sorry, god dang it. I know it's my allergies because, wow. Um, so I did the top of my eyes, and then the bottom um, is not eyeliner. I used a little bit of that um, eyelid shade underneath my eye eyes. <clears throat> then for blush, I used my Benefit Dandelion in the box. And this is what it looks like. So pretty. I hadn't used that in quite a while, so I thought I'd better use start using those too. They're kind of out of sight because they're in a little little container here instead of in my blush drawer. Then for highlighter, I went in and used my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Illuminator. And this is in Rose. Just absolutely beautiful. And I just swirled my brush in all of them. 
All right, for and then I used for the first time today. I've had this a while and I forgot that I had it. Um, I broke the lid taking it off actually, but it's my stay mat by Rimmel. Press powder, and it's kind of defeating the purpose because I use this as a mat and my Lumi stuff. My primer is Lumi. Lumi. <laughs> okay, so the last thing I used was lipstick, and that is Ofra Color 212. And this is the case that it looks like, just a little case. I got this in a, a beauty box. And that's what it looks like here. Pretty, really red. Um, really like a true red, I guess. So that is what I'm wearing today. So um, I will talk, my phone's ringing, so I will talk to you soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye.